What is up everybody? It's your boy T right here from the Konami Crew. Back at you guys today with a brand new video. Now guys, I haven't been the biggest early adopter or supporter, or whatever you want to say, of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel. I haven't opened a whole lot of it. Um, although I am an avid player of actual Duel Links, I play, you know, at least, um, I usually log on at least once a day to collect, you know, whatever. Um, the specialty um, gems or whatever it would be that day. However, I was uh, going through the apps on my phone, just kind of clearing some stuff out, and I stumbled across my Target app, and I um, remember downloading it to look for deals on Yu-Gi-Oh cards and things of that nature. So I clicked on it, and I went ahead and looked up and seen if there's any deals. And um, I was actually able to come across um, some Speed Duel blister packs. I don't know if you guys can see that focus in um, for 40% off. So I figured. Um, what the heck, I haven't really bought a whole lot of dual, uh, or speed duels, excuse me, um, booster packs, so why not? Um, we're going to be getting them at less than a dollar a pack, I think. Um, I think they're, they're $3.99 for four packs, so we're going to get them for 40% off. Um, so it's just a little over $2 for four packs. Um, so at that price range, I don't really think we can lose. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to run the target, we're going to pick it up, and we're going to open it up in this video. So this video is going to just kind of show you guys how you guys can save money. Um, I've worked with Target in the past, but this video is in no way, shape, or form sponsored by Target. Um, I just want to show you guys how to save a little money. So with that being said, guys, let's get it. All right, everybody. So we're pretty much going to be trying to go for the Attack, uh, attack from the Deep Packs. It has a lot of great cards in it. Um, but I'm not sure if they'll have any of those. So if they don't, then I think the other ones, uh, Scars of Battle, they have those on sale as well. Um, and also there is actually a, one of the structure decks are on sale as well. So we could, we could go either way with it. Um, now I know some of you guys are going to be asking where Smitty is. And basically, uh, with his work schedule, it's hard to get him in videos. Although we should be linking up this weekend for another card hunt. So hopefully stay tuned for that. Um, I know I've been um, handing at new card hunts for a while. Hopefully th this one will uh, come to fruition. Uh, but yeah, guys, so we're a little bit, we're about a few minutes away from Target. And then um, we'll go inside. And while we're there, we'll go ahead and check out some of the other product that is on shelves. Uh, just to kind of check it out. But yeah, guys, this should be a pretty good deal. Uh, we should be right around $2. It's like $2.25, $2.50 uh, per blister which has four packs in it um, so we should be getting I think the booster boxes come 36 to a box so at this rate we should be getting like a, a booster box equivalent for under $20 uh, which I don't even think you can buy a booster box for that price so um, it should be a pretty good deal uh, with that being said guys I'll see you guys in the store guys here we are in the section here at the card section so first off let's just look and see what kind of Yu-Gi-Oh product they have so they have some, some they still have the same cybernetic horizon packs that we found like oh we have one secret of eternity which is a trash pack as well and the other seven secret in southern horizon who got that reprint and the uh 1910, so I would not recommend that. Um, but here we go, guys. Here is some of the packs that they had on sale. Um, Scars of Battle. So I'm looking to see if there's any hidden. There's not like some soul, soul fusion. Um, so it looks like, guys, we're going to have to go with our Scars. Oh, oh, we found some Attack of the Deeps in the back, guys. There's some Attack of the Deeps in the back here. So we should be able to clear these out, guys. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this should be like 25 bucks or so for that, for 10 packs. Uh, pretty good deal. So that's going to be 40 packs of cards for around 25 bucks. Pretty good deal over a booster over a booster box. So let's take a thing, take a thing over to the checkout and check it out. A little bit of trouble checking out. Um, they actually had these on the wrong shelf. 
they actually are not $3.99, they're actually $5.99. Because they were on the wrong shelf, the guy was nice enough to give them to me at the $3.99 price, minus the 40%. Um, so I paid around $2.40 a pack. Um, if you guys go to your store and they're under the $5.99 section with the discount, he said they'd be like $3.50. So I saved like an extra dollar per each, but even at $3.50, that's still a pretty good deal. I mean, you're still paying under a dollar a pack. Um, with that being said, guys, we have 40 packs of this to open. Uh, feed duels. Let's take these back to the studio and let's open these things up. Um, hopefully, we'll get some heat. Um, tons of great speed duel cards in here. Um, and hopefully, maybe we'll pull some stuff and I'll be able to add it with my previous speed duel stuff that I opened and maybe have a playable deck and I'll be able to hit locals and um, check out this speed duel. I kind of want to check it out because I'm such a big fan of the, duel, of the actual duel links. I really want to check it out. So, let's take this back and let's see what we can pull, guys. All right, guys, we're back. As I said earlier in the video, no face cam on this one just because uh, my, I sold my camera and I got my new one coming. Um, one more thing I didn't actually touch on while I was wrapping up the store. The Carwell app will only let you get four of these at a time. So if you want to make sure you get the deal, like bring up four, like go to the self checkout or just tell the cashier what you're doing. Do four, do four, you know what I mean? So if you're if you can if you're only getting four, then you're fine, or less than four, but if you're getting more than four, if you're getting six, seven, whatever, um, you'll have to do multiple transactions. I believe you can do up to four transactions a day on your Carwell app. So um, just one thing I forgot to mention while I was there. So with that being said, guys. Let's get cracking into this. I'm kind of excited to open these up. Um, this is my first time ever opening uh, Speed Duel boosters. I, like I said earlier, I haven't been a big um, adopter of the whole Speed Duel thing, but you know, there's always a, uh, a starting point and this is ours. So we have Dweller in the Depths. Hopefully the focus and everything is at, at halfway decent in the sound. Jin Desiree of Rituals, excuse me. Uh, big Wave, Small Wave, and we have Fusion Recovery. Um, like I said, I've been playing a ton of Duel Links, trying to build um, Invoked right now. It's pretty pretty popular right now. So we have Sword of Dark Destruction, Sinister Serpent, Warrior Elimination, and Lost Blue Berserker. Pretty good. Like, and there's four packs per, per each one. Legendary Fisherman, that's always a cool one to get. Uh, slushy, water hazard, and big wave, small wave. So it's the second time of us getting that. So it looks like you may be pulling a lot, multiples of each card. I'm not sure how big the set is. is it, I don't know if it's a 60 card set or or how how they do these on on the speed duel side. We have great white. There's a nostalgic card. Umi, another one. Uh, D-band nightmare. Ooh, and we got an ultra magician face. Awesome. Target one spell in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. This is actually a pretty decent card for speed duels. Let me go ahead and slap, lap, 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 lap it. Let me go ahead and slap it. Since we're rocking, since we're doing speed duels, let's rock it. Let's slap it in the Yu-Gi-Oh branded sleeves. Nice, Magician of Faith. I don't actually use this card on Duel Links or anything, but um, I can definitely see where it would be um, helpful, especially you know if you have that one spell that um, is just what triggers off your your combos. Of course, a lot of cards, a lot of decks nowadays, you know, just have a have a monster effect that it recycles. Uh, Water Hazard, Great White, Umi, and another Thebane Nightmare. Gains 1500 attack when you have no cards in your hand nor in your spell or trap zones. Hmm. Pyramid of Wonders, Mystical Elf, Arcane Barrier, and Robin Zombie. Oh, we got a skill card. Nice. We got a Mako Tsunami. We got, uh, at the start of the duel, place this card in your field zone and flip it over. We got a Mystic Depths. So basically it's Umi. <laughs> basically Umi. Still cool though, let's, let's leave this thing up too. I think I used Umi for a little bit on, on Duel Links when, um, when 
using, uh, I was using uh, Sea Stealth Attack Lock with my uh, fur hires. But like I said, that's been a while back and I, I, I haven't used them since. So I don't know if I'll necessarily be using that, but still cool to have. Uh, Sword of Dark Destruction, Amazonist uh, Trainee. Ooh, another Magician of Fate. Wow. She must be pretty easy to pull, I guess, or we just get lucky. Pretty cool. So that's two Magicians of Faith and an Umi we've pulled so far. And that is out of two of these packs. Not too shabby. Especially when you're getting this stuff. When you're open, getting this stuff for a good deal, it's pretty cool. You know, you don't really, when you're getting it for cheap, you don't really care so much if you don't pull good. But when you get it for cheap and you pull good, you just feel like, you know, you're doing it big. We have Dweller in Depths, Legendary Fisherman. Nothing too crazy that fast. Super cool to open the open the actual nostalgic cards too. Robin Zombie, Mystical Elf. Ooh, and a Levia Dragon, uh, Daedalus. I can't remember what deck was using this that I recently played on Duel Links. You can send one face up only you control to the graveyard, destroy all other cards on the field. That's a pretty decent effect. Let me get these cards over in our common pile here. Let me know in the comment section down below if any of you guys have been messing around with uh, speed duels at all. Or if you guys have been playing Duel Links, Sinister Stirpant, Warrior Elimination, and a Lost Blue Berserker. Um, also, if you guys know, how many Ultras do you get per box of speed duels? Because I haven't opened any boxes, nor have I necessarily watched a whole lot of people open it. So, I don't know. Here we go. We got a Moray of Greed. Shuffle two water monsters from your hand into the deck, then draw three cards. Summon and Mask of the Curse. That's a pretty cool uh, uh, spell card. A lot of people use that when they're doing those burn decks. They get those and they get a lava golem, all that going. At least in Duel Links they do. We got another slushy. Water hazard, big wave, small wave, and a fusion recovery. Target one polymerization in your graveyard and one monster in your graveyard that was used as material for using them and add them to your hand. We got a warrior elimination. A shore of war monsters on the field. Arcane bear and another Thebane nightmare. I think it'd be cool if they at least added a silver letter rare in these packs. Mystical elf, warrior, dive refer, and a fishboard planner. Oh, I lost that card there. Legendary Fisherman, Slushy, Water Hazard. <laughs> no way! We got a playset of Magician Faith. This must be super easy to pull. This must be like the number one ultra to pull out of this thing. As per the usual, I haven't did a whole lot of homework on this set, so I don't know if that's the one that everybody gets or what, but it seems like we're getting it today. Be nice if we got a Dekoichi. I think Dekoichi was in this one. Sword of Dark Destruction, Amazon's Training, High Tide uh, Goijin, and the Forceful Checkpoint for an Ultra. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, look at your opponent's hand, and if there's a monster card, negate the attack. Then discard one monster from their hand. Your choice. Nice. Nice. Pretty good trap. Pretty good trap. We're doing pretty good on Ultras. I. I mean, we've gotten five so far. I don't know, like I said, I don't know what your ratios are in the boxes, but somebody in the comment section knows. I know they do. Dweller in the depths. Jin, Disarray of Rituals, Big Wave, Small Wave, and another Fusion Recovery. I feel like we've gotten that pack in that order multiple times so far. Infernity Beast, it's a new one. Sonic Duck. Fusion recovery and a ready for intercepting. One more pack here. Ah, oh, I just spoiled it, guys. We didn't get anything. Sorry. Pyramid of Wonders and a Sensor Serpent.
Maybe this was the one with Night Beam and not the Quick Strike. Primitive Wonders, Robin Zombie, Axe Trader, that's cool, and a Magical Undertaker. Flip, you can hurt one level 4 or lower spellcaster monster in your group or special summon that target. Uh oh, we got another skill card. We got Mystic Depths again. So that is our second Mystic Depths. Okay, so I was curious because I, I looked at both those sets before I picked these up. The Quick is not actually in this set. However, the best card in this set is um, the Levy of Dragon, which we did pu we did pull, um, as well as Magician of Faith is definitely up there. And we pulled three of her, so I feel like we've definitely got our money's worth so far. Um, I was just kind of curious, so I wanted to check the check where we check the temperature. You know what I mean? Of how hot these pulls were so far. And we've, we're doing pretty good so far. Mystical Elf and the Pyramid of Wonders. Be cool to get that the Kaiba skill that's in here, which is a Viral Infection. That'd be kind of cool. Um, Sonic Bird is in here as well. Would be awesome to get. I wanted that Dequeshi, but it is actually in the other, the Scars of the Battle that I was looking at getting. Arcane and a Robin Zombie. Rob Zombie. Great White Shark. Umi. Thebane Nightmare. Axe Raider. Ooh, and we. Hey guys. Oh, we got a Zombina. Uh, I ruined that one, like, as always. Having four cards in the pack just makes it so light feeling. So it's like hard to. Hard to control this thing. If this card is an owner possession, destroyed by an opponent's card, you can target one level four little monster in your graveyard, except that mean a special summon it. Dweller in the depths, Moray of Greed, High Tide, a Goyjin, and a Power of Cation. All right, we have 12 packs left. Which sounds like a lot, but we've opened a ton. Let me just go ahead and open these all up. That way, we don't have to worry about it. Well, like we've had good luck. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys think we've had good luck. If you guys are commenting live, I know a lot of you guys comment as you watch. Uh, Umi, Sinister Serpent, Sonic Duck, and Lost Blue Berserker. Look, like we've gotten over a place at a Blue Berserker so far. Great White, Sword of Dark Destruction, Dweller in the Depths, and Moray of Greed. Ooh, I think we got the Kaiba skill card, guys, that I wanted. And then, all right, Viral Infection. Once per turn, discard any number of cards and declare one type of, of card, monster spell, or trap. Your opponent sends one card of the declared type from their deck to the graveyard for each discarded card. If you do that, flip this card over. So there we go, we got the skill card for Kaiba. And those are our commons that we got with it. Pretty cool to actually pull that. I think there, there's also a Joey skill in here, but I don't really care for that one as much. Great Phantom Thief. Arcane Barrier, Dweller in the Depths, Infernity Beast, and Great White. Guys, my locals was closed today. Otherwise, I would be bringing you a dual devastator video. Um, however, my locals is closed, and you know, big box stores typically don't get that kind. Ooh, another magician of faith. Jeez, ow! Four magicians of faith, guys. I I can't believe it. Uh, but our locals wasn't was not open today. And uh, dual, who oh, we got the Joey, we got the Joey skill. Um, and dual Devastator 
doesn't hit big box stores until Friday. So tomorrow, hopefully, um, I'll be getting my new camera. Hopefully, we'll bring you guys some Dual Devastator content, maybe. And it's my lucky day, Yugs. We got two packs left. We're probably not going to pull anything in here because we already got an Ultra and a skill out of here. So I don't see us get anything else. Sinister Serpent. Last pack. Can we end on a hollow? Power Kaishan. And nothing. Overall, guys, we had 40 packs. We pulled four skills. Um, obviously, the Ultra being the, the better of the set. We have our play set of um, uh, Magician Faith and one extra, so there's four. We got a Levia Dragon, and we have the Forceful Checkpoint and a Zombina. So overall, we pulled the best, the most valuable card in the set. Um, so definitely some very, very playable cards, as well as some uh, some decent cards. So we got, we got a lot of good stuff here. If you guys enjoyed this Speed Duel type opening, also me showing you guys how to save a couple bucks. Uh, make sure to slap that like button. If you guys are brand new to the channel, what's up guys? Uh, my name is C Red. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. Um, and uh, with that being said, guys, make sure to hit me up on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, everything down in the description down below. Um, stay tuned to the channel, guys, because we do have some card hunts coming. Uh, like I said, me and Smitty are going to link it up this weekend. We're hopefully going to knock out a couple videos. And, uh, yeah, so stay tuned, guys. As always, it's your boy T-Red. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.